everyone welcome back to spectrum glasses this is our another video on the topic contribution towards the shielding constant by the neighboring groups here in this video we are going to discuss about the magnetic anisotropy in nmr which seems to be little difficult for the students to understand because many of us having questions why we have placed the acetylene molecule parallel to the b naught field and why we have placed the benzene ring or the alkene molecule perpendicular to the b naught direction let's start with the topic anisotropy so in my previous video i have already discussed the theoretical aspect of the magnetic anisotropy how it contributes based on the magnetic susceptibility and here again i am showing you the example here we are having ch3 molecule without having any electron withdrawing group so it resonates at chemical shift value which is 0.9 ppm and this is the alkene molecule which resonates about 4 to 8 ppm range uh, here is the acetylene molecule which resonates at 1.5 to 3.5 ppm and uh, here is the benzene ring which resonates at 6 to 9 ppm and in my previous video i have already discussed that in the absence of electron withdrawing group we can explain this on the basis of hybridization where contribution of s orbital play a vital role from ch3 to c double bond ch it is okay if hybridization alone can explain then this molecule should have higher value than this alkene molecule but here we are having lesser value so it means something is there which play vital role about deciding the chemical shift value so that effect is actually magnetic anisotropy so how we are going to discuss that here i have collected some more examples like this is the aldehyde which resonates at this much high ppm value and this is the acidic group which resonates 10 to 12 ppm the resonance is of this red proton right and this is the substituted alkene molecule it resonates 4 to 8 ppm and this is alkyne molecule which resonates little lower and this is the benzene ring or we can say aromatic compounds so here in this video i will start with the molecule of alkene this is the alkene molecule which resonates 4 to 8 ppm so let's have its orbital structure so as you all are very much aware about this because of sp2 hybridization this molecule is planar in geometry and these are the p orbitals which form the pi bond and these p orbitals are perpendicular to this plane of the molecule right when we place this molecule in the magnetic field then the magnetic field induces electronic circulation in a plane perpendicular to the applied magnetic field so if we place this molecule in the applied magnetic field this is the applied magnetic field which is represented by b naught and it is suppose that this is in the g direction when we place this molecule here it induces the circulation of electrons since the electrons present in the pi orbital they will circulate plane perpendicular to the applied magnetic field so this is the perpendicular direction in some of the books and literature this type of structure is given for the circulation of electron and in some books this type of circulation of electron is given when this type of circulation is given then the applied field is in this direction because we have to satisfy this condition circulation of electrons takes place in the perpendicular direction to the applied magnetic field i will go with this molecule i am not advocating here any of the representation and in in the last of this video i will also explain the magnetic field in this molecule but i will go with this molecule here with respect to the ring current form in the benzene ring because here we are having the nodal plane so that is my opinion and uh, but in some text it is given and in some other text this type of structure is also given so that is on you 
to which you want to go so here we are having the alkene molecule and this is the circulation of electron now we are coming to the direction to which this electronic circulation will go suppose our electrons are moving in this direction and the current will moving in opposite direction to this right so here the direction of current is this in this molecule so this is the induced current when this molecule is placed in the applied external magnetic field and this can be explained by the Fleming's right hand rule right and here we are having the right hand thumb rule this picture shows if the direction of current is this in a current carrying conductor then the magnetic field which is produced by this electric field is according to the direction of the curled fingers so suppose you are having your right hand and once you try to curl your fingers then you will get the direction actually and if you just revert this direction of the current then it can be explained by this if the direction of the current downward side then the direction of the magnetic field lines will be clockwise if it is in the upward direction then the direction of the magnetic field lines will be in anti-clockwise direction now we are moving further if the current is moving in this direction then what will be the direction of the induced magnetic field so just to understand that you just rotate this figure in this manner here so if this is the direction of current then this will be the direction of your induced magnetic field line if this is the induced magnetic field line then this will be the direction of a magnetic field lines if you find it difficult to understand then i am again having one example to show you suppose this is the current carrying loop there current carrying conductor was straight but here the current carrying conductor is in the loop form then how we are suggesting the direction of this magnetic field lines this is given in the 10th standard ncrt book if you again find it difficult then you can visualize this in this three dimensional picture this picture is taken from internet and whole credit goes to that site only so if this is the current carrying loop this will be the direction of the induced magnetic line in this current carrying loop how you are going to understand that direction thumb rule again apply over here if you put your wrist over here and your thumb will represents this direction of current then your curl fingers will be in this direction Okay, outside this loop they are upward and inside this loop they are inward side these magnetic field lines are not uh, at this moment they are all over to this loop actually so if you are moving about this periphery of the ring then you will see the magnetic lines are going upward from outside this ring and they are going inward inside of the ring so here in this molecule we are having the direction of current and uh, these are the induced magnetic field lines you can easily understand what will be the direction of the current suppose you put your right hand thumb over here then your fingers will go inside the ring and if you put your wrist outside then they are coming to upward side so here i am putting the arrows so inside this ring we are having downward direction and outside of this ring we are having upward direction you can relate this picture to this and guys actually uh, these rings are shown over here but actually this is not the case this is here and this is back in the backward direction too don't think that lines are only here uh, now we are going to understand the shielding and de-shielding zone so here if we are having this proton since this proton is experiencing this b node and this induced magnetic field lines are also in the upward direction then magnetic field which is experienced by this proton is more so if it is experiencing more field then it resonates at higher chemical shift value so it will be shielded and it resonates at higher chemical shift value. we can say this proton is in the de-shielded zone if any of the proton is placed over here then that will be shielded because this is in the upward direction this is in the downward direction the magnetic field which is experienced by the proton which is placed over here that proton will resonates at lower chemical shift value at low ppm value you can say 
so this can be represented over here so here two cones are represented this is the deshielded zone here delta plus means at higher delta value and delta minus at low delta value right so this is low delta this is high delta value this is the shielded cone and this is the deshielded region the proton which is present outside this shielded zone then that resonates at higher delta value because of this magnetic anisotropy effect this is further given in the william gamps book the direction of this shielded zone is at 36 degree angle so this is the shape of the cone if the proton is outside this shielded zone then, then this is deshielded right and it resonates at higher delta value now as i told you earlier that i will give you the example of this type of a structure too this picture i have arranged in this manner actually this is the applied external magnetic field and this molecule is in the parallel direction of b naught and these pi orbitals are just perpendicular to the b naught field okay so you just see this picture in this manner so here you can see if this is the direction of the current then what will be the direction of induced magnetic field lines so you just put your right hand over here in this manner only so inside the ring we are having downward direction and outside the ring we are having upward direction so here it reinforces the magnetic field and it resonates at higher delta here again we are having the same result if you find this lecture helpful please subscribe my channel thank you all thanks for watching